Welcome to Slow Home. Too many people live in badly designed houses, and we want to change that. This is day 72 of the Slow Home Project, and we need you to join us in our quest to evaluate the design quality of houses in nine North American cities in nine months. This week, we are analyzing townhouses in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and today, we're going to be doing an in-detail review of the siting question on the Slow Home Test. Before Matthew gets us into that, review, I wanted to just remind you that on the slow home test, this is a new category, which is why it was mm -hmm. suggested by a couple of people on the site that we go over it. Siting is a slow home response to its surroundings and the impact of neighboring houses and other uses. So it's like context, but slightly different. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's the opportunity that you've got to evaluate the project basically on, on its condition and how it is on the ground and what's immediately around it. So you have to look at the whole project. So with a townhouse project, there's a lot of units. So not only do you have to look at the whole thing, you know, how do you get in and out of it, where's the parking, but also the individual unit, how they relate to the other units in the complex, plus how they relate to the greater urban environment of the next street, the next building all that sort of stuff. That's right, and that's particularly important in new communities because the con context that you're looking at might not be the context that's going to be there. Really exactly, you, the have future, to, right? you have to be really careful with these ones. And what I wanted to do with the examples was go through a couple of uh, practical ways that you could actually evaluate the siting using Google Maps and using the site plans that are more often than not provided by the developers on the websites. Sounds interesting. Okay, so let's start. So the first project is uh, Highland Gates on Katy Trail and it's uh, 4608 Abbott Trail in Dallas, Texas. Um, it's interesting because this is a typical walk-up, and I wanted to do uh, one that was a walk-up that dealt with the parking in a different way. So let's have a look at the site plan. So this is what they provided us. Interesting because the parking actually comes in between the two buildings. Mm. So there's uh, a bank of units that face the street this way. Then they've created this kind of urban court uh, between these other two banks of units and there's actually a, an access point between the two buildings. So these ones actually park here oh. on the back, and these ones you drive in and park in between. So interesting, because I'm very curious about what the quality of this space is. It could be really nice, or could it could be, be nice, awful. Could be a disaster. I think these units, just based on the site plan, would be the preferred ones, because they're set in a sort of more typical townhouse condition. But I want to see what the street's like. Exactly. So let's go through. So here's the project here. Okay, so this is the aerial view. So the parking is in between here. This is that courtyard space. From the air, it's not so bad. No. I have a few questions about this because this is quite a tall building over here and we're going to see that in a minute. This is a much more residential street. So that's the block that we were talking about earlier as potentially having mm. a better condition in the urban environment. Thank goodness for Google Maps. Huh? Okay, so let's look at this. So this is actually, um, in here is that urban uh, space between the two buildings. Okay, this little opening here is the parking for the first building. So these units park on the back. So this is what they're looking at. This isn't so bad. No, it's, this is it's kind actually of a green quite space. nice. It's a, it is like nice. a walkway system. I yeah. like that. So we're so gonna, it looks better than it does on the floor plan yeah, or so on the site plan. So we're going to move over and this is that tall building and I would have thought from the Google map that that would maybe not be a nice relationship but I got to say that's actually pretty nice. Yeah. It's, it's not a, I mean it's a, there's, it's a pedestrian street you can see by the bollards so that's pretty nice. And there's this little bit of commercial here on the, on yep. the bottom right. It's so looking at the other side, this is the uh, the street view that is the more typical walk-up condition, which actually I, I think is pretty good. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd prefer to live on the other side, but... <laughs> I like this side, but I think it is interesting because from the from the uh, the the, um, the floor or the site plan provided by you the developer... You don't really understand the context. You, you don't really get that sense. Okay, this is how we get into the parking. So this is that other side yard condition. This street is not, not so great, so but the units are actually not... The, the, these are the side yards of the units. That's right, and they're so just the they're side not, windows. Not exactly. So That's smart. So this has actually been pretty well cited. I think so. And I think it's interesting how they've used the condition of the four sides of the site right. differently. So this is another project. So uh, this one is the Wall Street Townhomes, and it's on uh, 1214 Urban Loft Drive in Dallas, Texas. And these are uh, developed by Urban Lofts. And uh, it's, again, interesting uh, condition. The floor plans aren't so bad. Uh, we can see, you know, on the second floor, you've got the typical living, dining, uh, kitchen space. The top floor is the bedroom. And then we've got the, the uh, lower level for the, the parking garage. And there's variations on these, you know, some with more bedrooms and stuff like that. So then we come through and we look at the site plan. So this is interesting. So we've got one bank of units that has the parking in the middle as a panhandle. The other has a sort of a street condition with the parking where you come and in like this. Yes. 
and some guest parking along the side. What I'm really interested in is I'm also really interested in this condition here because you can see um, that this unit here, the living dining space, actually opens up into that central spot there, which is backing onto those so bedrooms. That, that looks a little tight, doesn't it? It does look tight. And the only other way that you've got a view is it's out into, into the panhandle. And so yeah. I, I worry about that unit within this complex. I think these ones are better just because the street condition in the front, I think, is a little bit better. I think some of those ones are not so bad either because no. even though they're on the corner and depending on how busy the street is, they've got quite a bit of a green edge to them. So I would be worried about the units that are kind of in that zone there. So then if we look at it aerially, this is the site here, so it's not developed yet. You can see that we've got a parking lot <laughs> fairly close right, on that side. Right, so that side. corner unit that you actually thought might be nice is is maybe not looking into something that's exactly. all that great. It's got, exactly. looks like there's railroad tracks there too. Yeah, and then we've got a condition here where there's a commercial. Now, I don't know what the quality of the commercial is. It could be mixed, it could be... And then we've got, it looks like another newer uh, um, residential project on that Which side. Which might be a nice street, streetscape for Exactly. That. Yeah. I think that's really interesting. Uh, it's Exciting is obviously a big issue. That's why yeah. we've put it up close to the top. But of the there desk. are tools uh, actually to do a pretty thorough uh, analysis, I think, in exactly. my opinion. So. And I would say for, for the slow home test, for the, for the project, to just make, look at this stuff and then make your best guess. Yeah. It's not something that requires hours and hours of analysis. Yeah. There's two things that we wanted to mention. The first is that we're going to be introducing a new look to the site, some small mechanical changes and, uh, that I think that you're going to enjoy. Most importantly, there's a new way in which you're going to be able to upload information into the slow home program. So that will appear one of these days when we're finished. When we're finished. So we've don't be shocked. It don't for be a shocked <laughs> with the new look, but it's right. going to pop up. Exactly. The other thing is that we're not going to be doing an exercise tomorrow in observance of Good Friday. So have a long a good long weekend and we will see you on Monday where we are finishing off our third week in Dallas on houses. On houses. Take see you care. Monday.